In this video, let us see how to get these free VPS without any credit card or debit card. The cool feature about this free VPS is that you have the sudo access. Here you can see we have switched to the sudo user. If you want to see this free space, you can type free hyphen hash. You can see we have 30 GP of total free storage. If you want to update something, APT update, you can see all the packages are updated. This VPS has a 2 virtual CPUs and 5 GP of memory. VPS is available for 24 bar 7. Let us see how to install this free VPS without any credit card or debit card. Let's get started. For this, just go to the Google and type the node. So this is the website that we're gonna use. Click on this first result. This is the dashboard of the deep node. You can see that we have deep node powered by the GPT-4 and we can also turn notebooks into one data apps. It supports Python, SQL on our language. Click on get started to log in using our credentials. Here we're gonna continue with Google. If you have GitHub, you can continue with GitHub. You can see that you will get a 14 day free trial. So let's, oh, let me select the account. I'm gonna select this account. Click on continue to sign into the deep node. Let's enter this basic details. If you have student email ID, you can continue with the student email ID that they will provide the education plan for the student email ID. If you have that one, just enter your email and get deep node for free. We're gonna set this later. I will do this later. Give you a name for your workspace. In this case, I'm gonna type letters and click on continue. Here you have to invite your teammates. Let me invite some email ID. I'm gonna invite this email ID only and click on send the invites and continue. As you can see, this is the dashboard after we log into the deep node. Here, click on create new project to get hired. Here, you can see that it says connecting to the terminal. Just give you a few minutes. As you can see, now our VPS has been ready. If you scroll down on the left hand side, you have a terminal. Click on plus icon to create a new terminal. Let me click on this add icon to add a new terminal. This is our terminal name, Intent AQ Terminal World. Here we got our free VPS. It is activate about 24 bar 7. You can use this for freely. If you want to see the free space, free hyphen hash, we have 30 GPs of free storage. You can see that here. If you want to update the packages, apt update. Now our packages has been updated successfully. Let's also upgrade our packages. Now our packages has been upgrading. Just give you a few minutes, it will download the packages. Here on the left hand side, you can see that we have two virtual CPUs and 5 GP of RAM. Now our packages has been upgraded. If you want to see the folders, df hyphen hatch, these are the folders that are available. Let me close this. Let me clear the screen so that we can continue ahead. Yeah. Consider this is the folder that we have over. The overlay has a 1.8 GP. We're gonna install Python on this virtual uh, VPS. As you can see, the Python has been installing. If I uh, type Python now, as you can see, now our Python interpreter has been successfully opened up. Let's print hello world here. As you can see, we successfully executed a command inside this VPS. If you want to see the OS release, catch HC OS release, we are using the Debian. Let me clear the screen now. If you want to upload some files here, click on uh, import files or you can select on plus icon and select upload file. Here if you, you can upload any file and you can work on the terminal. Let me upload a data set. This is the data set that I'm gonna upload. Let's open it up. As you can see, it says uploading. Now our file has been uploaded successfully. If you use the command ls, you can see we have the data set here. Using this method, you can upload any file and work on this terminal for free 24 by 7. Let's uh, print the contents to the screen now. Cat and the name of the file. In this case, the name of the file is the sample data for plotting and filtering. I'm gonna cat that files. This is the contents of the data set. Let me clear the screen. If you use the ls again, we have a file. If you want to upload another file, you can click on this plus icon to upload another file. Here you can see on the left hand side, we have two virtual CPUs. If you want to upgrade that, you will have to upgrade your account. 
if you on zpu is charge 1.8 dollars per hour but for the basic plan this is enough for us to virtual cpu if you want to change the python version or any virtual environment that you are working on you can change that you can change that to all environment or tensorflow zpu or docker file or anaconda anything you want to change if you want to invite others you can do that through this chat here you can see that now we have switched any sudo user we have this sudo admin now here you can share this at terminal with others by clicking on the share button you can type their email address to invite them i'm going to type this email address to invite this user and we can also send the user to edit our view as you can see a email has been successfully sent to this email if you want to change the access of this user you can do that by here let me skip for now so if you want to finally stop this machine you can click on stop machine or again if you want to start this free vpns you can click on start in machine so this is how you get your free vpns without any credit card or debit card that is running for 24 by 7 with the help of this deep node this is for this video and they will continue in the next one here you can see that the new terminal has been started you can work on this terminal now so this is for this video and they will continue in the next one